Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Arc Studio. Today we have some tutorial about new update in the Enscape 3.5 called the Multi Asset Placement. So as you can see, we have this environment in here, and I come to the visual setting, my rendering quality to the draft because I want to work very smooth. So I'm gonna minimize my window in here and I open the asset library in the landscape. So sometimes it depends on your network or other type of elements, but you can open it from here. That's called asset library. So as you can see, we have four items in here, select, translate or movement, rotate and the scale. And we have two options in here, multi-asset placement and the single asset placement. Before I start this, I'm going to draw some, for example, rectangle in here. Or I can draw some sandbox on it. For example, I'm going to create some terrain in this place with some different numbers like that. And I'm going to adjust it very fast and easy. For example, I'm going to use a smooth option in here and choose 18 radius for it and move it a little bit like that something like this and another one like that or i can turn it down or turn it up so as you can see we create this type of terrain in here so i'm going to click on it and click on the paint bucket in this place after that i have soft edges in here so i'm going to check the soften copplaners and increase my degree of the softness so as you can see we have this terrain in this place so uh, I'm going to open the uh, Enscape in this place and I'm going to change my camera to this part of the job. Now, I'm going to click on the uh, multi-asset placement. So when I click on the multi-asset placement, we have three options in here. The first option called rectangular selection. The second is the circular sele selection and the uh, last one is the bucket selection. So I need bucket selection to create some type of assets like the uh, trees or landscapes in here. For this reason, I'm going to click on the uh, bucket selection in here, change my category to the vegetation and after a little bit, I have lots of vegetations in here. For example, I'm going to click on these bushes in here and I can tag my trees from this place. We have 302 trees in here. So I'm going to select some of them in here like this really fast and easy. And now when I come to the uh, Enscape environment, it detects all the surfaces automatically. So as you can see, my sandbox and terrain detected in the Enscape paint bucket. So I'm going to click on it. And it takes a little bit time, but after that, you can see it generates some type of trees in here. You can check the random rotation or you can uncheck it. I absolutely want to check it because I don't want uh, all the trees like the same. If I increase the density, actually the intensity of the uh, this option will increase. And when I click on the regenerate, as you can see, it will regenerate my assets in here. Very simple. But I think the medium form is the good. It takes a little bit time because it's worked with the internet and it depends on your network speed. So, as you can see, it generated for us, and now I can click on the confirm placement. We have distribution, you can change it to the jitter mode or the uniform. For the landscape design, the default mode is the random and it's much better than others. So, I'm gonna click on the confirm placement and I'm gonna apply all the changes in here. It takes a little bit time. After that, you can see all the assets downloaded for you and you can use it in your urban design or landscape design jobs because it's really useful for you. 
and I think now it's will done so yes as you can see we have this amazing landscape in here very simple and easy one of the useful updates in the Enscape 3.5 and it increase your 3d modeling speed much more than the past so I think it's enough for this session for the final I'm gonna click on the save frame in here and click on the uh, visual setting I'm gonna decrease the fold of view something like that to create some realistic shot but it have lots of work to do for make it much realistic I'm gonna increase the rendering quality to the ultra it depends on your hardware accelerator and your system speed so I think everything is good right now I can turn it to the white mode and I can increase the outlines very simple and easy for example some graphical render like this it's really useful in your diagrams in the architecture so I'm gonna press shift plus F11 and save it I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more tutorials I love you guys and goodbye